Why, hello, one and all, and welcome to part 17, I want to say, of Ultimate General Civil War Infantry List Confederate playthrough. Now, last time we crushed them at Antietam, and this time we're going to crush them at Prairie Grove. Hi, kitty. Hey, kitty. Meow. Meow, meow. Okay. Should be, I don't know. Probably, you can probably see her up there. Anyways, okay, it's my kitty. So, to Prairie Grove, we're going to bring 12 brigades. Now, notice none of the brigades that we're bringing are the three star units because we want. Because I'm confident we can win with just these two star units, and so I want to give them more experience so that they can get more stars. Uh, like, Kemper here is close, Lewis is close, Rhodes is close to getting a second star, Hector is close, Parker is close, Mercy is kind of not really close, but. He'll get closer. Armistead's close. So yeah. Um, now a funny thing. So we can only bring 12 brigades. And now last time we stuck After the last battle we had $400,000. And then also with all the muskets and stuff I sold. They got like an extra 200000 And so I had like $600,000. Um, Toward... <laughs> this basically... As far as these 12 brigades go, there's like nothing else for me to spend my money on. Because Forrest has Maynards, Ransom has Maynards, Hayes has Maynards. Every single one of these skirmisher units has the best <laughs> sniper rifles. Um, now the only thing I theoretically could do would be get more siege guns. However, to do that I'd have to cheat to add more to the shop. And for this artillery I don't want to do that. I don't, I won't mind doing that for the snipers. But for the uh, artillery, yeah, I'm just going to go with what I have. And so that's, this is all we're going to bring to this little battle, just these 12 brigades. So it's going to be a, a tight, tight battle. Although we should be able to really outrange them because we all have <laughs> sniper rifles. Uh, now we're going to be outnumbered. About two to one here. Uh, although we're, this is going to be a defensive battle, so... We should be able to do pretty well. Now, I actually remember doing this battle on le or not on legendary, but like major general difficulty. I think it was major general, like with infantry and stuff. And so I'm actually gonna. And it was really tough, and you're really outnumbered. So I'm actually gonna try to do that strategy again, and we'll see if it'll still work. All right. So that strategy actually. So the strategy actually is to relinquish the victory point. So, we have to hold this victory point. However, instead of actually trying to capture it, what we're going to do is just defend these woods right here. I might have some units over here. I'm not exactly sure yet if I'll put some units over there. Um, I probably will. Yeah, I'll put two over there. Hector and Kemper. Also, Kemper is 750 units. I upgraded my army organization so I can get more skirmishers. Although for the other ones, I'm still get, sticking to 650. Oh, another funny thing. Uh, because Lewis because General Lewis died in the last battle, uh, I named the unit to Lewis's memories. So now we have Kemper's memories. Now we have Lewis's memories. <laughs> uh, we still have Armistead's regrets, so we got some good units all around here. Um, Ransom, you can go over there. So I have a small force over here. I'll have my cavalry kind of in the center and in between. So if Hayes needs to run over and support, he can do that. Um, forest, yeah, you'll be over here. Um, now for artillery. Reed, you need to be up close. In order to actually do any damage. I'll put you there for now. Uh, Arma said you, you have a very long range. So I'll put you right there. You can do good damage from there. Perrin I'll just put you a bit closer. Uh, and then. These four units. So just space out like that. Alright. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna see you over here. All right. Yeah. 
Okay, you guys can go over here. Ransom. Uh, not in the trees, but right here. Should be fine. Okay. Oh, and we got Lee commanding now. So, we're gonna get that extra... It's the, the, the third... So, accuracy, accuracy, and then the cover buff. And so, all of our units here should actually have way more cover than they otherwise would. So, it's gonna give them an extra 30% cover. Which is gonna be nice. We go ahead and move over this way a bit so that way these units can get in and on that cover buff action. And so yeah, instead of trying to hold that point, like, cause like, in order for them to even attack that point, they're gonna have to basically get within <laughs> my sniper range. So they might capture it temporarily, but they're gonna be stuck out in the open and be able to deal with them. Pretty easily. Now I do think there will be some units coming from down here, so maybe I might send Kemper over. If a unit appears here, I might send Kemper to shoot at him in the water. Probably he could probably route a few units just as on his own doing that. Okay. Lewis's memories, let's move you forward a bit just so we can see what's out there maybe. Because the sooner we can shoot, the better, basically. Uh, or the sooner we can shoot from a defensive position, the better. Oh, here we go. Oh, melee, or that's not, I almost said melee cap, that's not melee cap. Never move over there. Just carbine calf. Okay, I can deal with carbine calf. Armor said, "Let's go ahead and turn you a bit." Uh oh, Hayes. See, see, we're already <laughs> coming under fire from a whole bunch of different units. Stewart. Oh, they're already wavering. <laughs> Alright, let's use that long range. Camper there, one volley, 42 kills. That's absurd. Ransom, you can give him a volley too. They aren't even facing the right direction. And they're already routing. So yeah, we're outnumbered, but we have very superior technology, so... Ooh, skirmishers. All right, ransom, fall back, Kemper. Not that, not that far. Get back in the woods. All right. See, that's what I'm talking about. Hector, no, no. Okay, Kemper, shoot at them in the water. They have a lot of cavalry. Oh, there's some melee cav. <laughs> okay, he's getting a bit closer to the line. All right, good job, Kemper. Ransom, go give him a volley yourself, too. You can do that. Yeah, so, like, we just saw it takes two volleys to route... <laughs> Two skirmisher volleys to route one of these their units. See, they're already routing. Broken. Hey! 
So yeah, instead of moving up and trying to defend hastily prepared positions, we can just fall back here and be comfortable right here. It'd be funny if we could shatter that unit <laughs> before the fight really even begins. Come on, Kemper. If you had that three-star three-star buff, you could reload faster. <laughs> yeah, Actor is gonna get some nice flanking fire. That's gonna be very nice. Actor. Oh no! Shoot those cameras! Shoot them! All right, Kemper, fall back. A lot of cavalry. Alright, Kemper, hold there. You're gonna be shooting at him in the water, and that's gonna be excellent. Oof, lovely damage. I love it. Alright, Ransom, give him a nice volley. Sweet volley. And they are routing. Shoot at them instead, Hector. And now they're wavering. Alright, good job, Kemper. Shoot him out in the water. Oh boy, here's some infantry. <laughs> oh boy. I'm already doing massive damage. Oh boy. Here, shoot at the artillery. And they're routing. <laughs> Forrest has not had to do anything yet. Hayes hasn't had to do anything yet. Ransom. Oh my gosh. See, like, this, these three units are holding back. Well, I guess I haven't engaged their infantry yet, but still. Oh my gosh, Kemper, you're destroying them! <laughs> Done so much damage already! Alright, 
Kemper, fall back. The rats come under fire. Are doing wonderfully. Yeah, I was very confident. I'm being very quiet because this is pretty calm, actually. No charges. We're, we're outnumbered two to one, but we're still destroying them. I love it. All right, but now we actually have some infantry on the left. A Kemper, let's move you over here so you can help against this infantry. Because they've already infantry's already crossed over here, so. You can shoot the skirmishers. Like, one volley is going to destroy the skirmishers, I tell you what. Yep, told you. <laughs> Just one volley did it. Kemper, let's move you against that. I don't like this infantry here flanking. Don't like that. Okay, Karen and Ector, time for you to do some counter battery. Ector, shoot the infantry. Kemper, fall back to here. I want to see what's over here. Alright, we're still doing good. Oh, that infantry unit didn't sneak around here. It's going to be very annoying if it did. Oh, skirmishers. They snuck up close. Kemper, move up a bit. Oh, we lost sight of a lot of them. Is it 7 in the morning? Or 7 in the evening? I don't know. Oh, see, here we go. Yeah, see, they're flanking. Don't like that. Stop them. Oh, what? Medium range, we should be able to... Do massive damage. Watch this volley by Kemper. We actually even outnumber them. Oh yeah, massive deadly volley. <laughs> They're wavering, routing. So yeah, once we do enough damage to them, then we'll just just uh, recapture the point.
lucky they retargeted. And they're routing good. Alright, doing good, we're doing good. See, Haze and right Forest still have not done anything. Uh, Forest, let's move you around here. Let's see what's out there. Catter that unit. Like, they're just so long range, it's ridiculous. Counter battery. Shoot them. Rose, let's move you up and you can start participating. Ah, skirmishers! Game of volley. How many skirmishers is that even? Okay, let's charge them. Now, it might be some units over here. Uh, probably are actually, but we'll charge them anyways. See what we can do. If there are units over here, then we just fall back. No harm done. Oh, that's a tiny skirmisher unit, but we don't have to really worry about them. Oh yeah, good job, Forrest. Good job. Now, if you happen to run into that skirmisher unit, then... Oh, what's that? That's infantry. Hey, they surrendered. Good. I was hoping... waiting for that. What guns do they have? Sharp scarbines. Okay. Forrest, fall back then. Fall back to here. Jeff Forest. Hector's earning his pay today. And we sh good job. Good job, Forest. You pwned them. Hayes, let's get you into the war. Oh, their cavalry's coming to try to rescue their <laughs> skirmishers, but I'm not going to let that happen. Alright, Hayes, there you go. Your first damage of the... of the... of the map. Rose, let's get you out here, too. Protect the skirmishers. There we go. Oh, they're charging. Oh. And 
and they're routing. Good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Get him again. Oh, shattered. Wonderful. Wonderful. Alright, skirmishers, get over there. Tower, get over there. Emperor, take out some of that artillery for me. Okay, let's do this. Uh, Rhodes, you move right here. Lewis, you move right here. Parker, you move right there. Mary, or Mercy, you come out in the open over here so we can support over here. Because they're more on this side of the map than I thought they would be. I thought it'd be more even. Uh, but there's more force over here, so we'll move more force over there. Even though our guys are doing plenty fine <laughs> without any extra help. We got the skirmishers. Excellent. Uh, I think my cat just jumped on something. I heard it, but I don't know what it was. Whatever. Okay. Let's go on. How much time do we have? See, it says 1-11 there, but if we hover over here, it says we have time until 10 o'clock. So we have a little bit of extra time. Counter-bettering. Mercy, actually get over here. Support Ector. Keep shooting at the artillery. Yeah, let's actually start... Not really pushing, but make sure we're always shooting at them. So, like, let's actually, for example, you three, move up. See what we find out there. Boris, let's move you to a bit closer, like over here. Reed, you have nothing to shoot at, so let's move you over here. Hayes, close support behind them in case they need it. Good job, Kemper. Keep doing the counter battery. I feel like I should... If that infantry unit's isolated, I can probably send my cavalry to destroy it. Let's do that. Hey, we shattered that, uh... Okay, good. Counter battery. Target him next. Even if you have to move, shoot at him. Kind of press the attack. Okay. Horus, you hit him. Hayes, you hit him. Forest charge, haze charge. 
it's isolated, so we can take it out pretty easily. Or at least we should be able to. Oh yeah. Now let's put some fire on these guys. Make sure that... Oh, we shattered it. Okay. Roads move over here. Keep the pressure on. Ransom, let's get you into the action over there. Call back, Kemper. Or not. Okay. You're good there. Now we capture the victory point. Back. Yeah, keep up the pressure. I'm going to move you around that way. Ransom's wounded. At least he's not dead. <laughs> yeah, apparently you have two Ransoms. That's fine. Oh, infantry, infantry. Do some charges. Why not? Three advanced to here. I'm actually going to charge you against Smith. A lot of charging going on. A bit risky, perhaps, but I'll go with it. Lee, let's move you up. But they're all really wavering, so we should be okay. surrendered? Oh, you surrendered. Good. You fall back. You two advance up to here. Okay, Ransom, converge this way so you'll converge with Haze on these guys. Oh, come on, Haze. You can do it. I surrendered. Horus, you move this way. Oh, morale's going back up, which is good now that Ransom's here. Oh no! Skirmishers just surrendered. You fall back. What guns do you have? Probably sharps, carbines. Yep. 
Y'all keep advancing. Move up to here. Emperor, you stay where you are. <laughs> they could save their guys, but instead they're just shooting. But hey, that's fine. Horus, move that way. They surrendered. They have Springfields. Okay. Are any of the guys ready to charge again? Hayes almost is. Okay. Yeah, we're wrapping this up easy peasy. Commander, you actually get over here, so in case there's any skirmishers out there, I don't want them targeting my artillery. They probably aren't, but can't be too safe. Alright, Hayes can charge again. Charge! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Two failed charges in a row. Wow. Okay, fall back, everybody, and let's actually just shoot at that cavalry. For now. They probably just only have uh, their roads. You fall back, you defend the victory point. They shattered. Okay, now let's make sure we uh, actually capture that supply wagon first. Oh, who are they shooting at? Oh, it just looked like they're shooting that way. It's weird they're shooting that way, but he's right there. Alright, let's... You fall back, you fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. I swear I told one of you guys to go that way. Oof. Hold fire. Hold fire. Get the supply wagon. My forest is charging it. All right, we got this battle in the bag. Ransom, move up so you can help destroy that cavalry once it. We finally can because we captured the supply wagon. Yeah, I probably didn't even need to use my supply wagon, but... Okay. Capture the supply wagon, and we got it. Oh, massive volley forest. They're sitting there damaging them. <laughs> uh, 
Not let the commander recapture the supply wagon. Chase him down. Oh, there we go. Chase him down. Get him. Alright, instead of all just standing there, let's move. Get some exercise. Flanked. Getting flanked from the front. <laughs> Keep moving forward. There we go. And we won. Oh my gosh, so few casualties. <laughs> that's like, oh, that's less than 500 casualties. Despite being outnumbered 2 to 1. Only to less than 500 casualties. I thought if we tried defending further up north, we would have taken way more casualties, I can tell you that. Because the cover was way worse and... Would have been way more disorganized and also wide, wider spread, so units would be hard, more have more difficulty supporting each other. Kemper's memories. We well, certainly lived up to Kemper's memory memories there. All right, Forest and Ransom did excellent. I'm f I'm finding I'm being after Antide. I'm being much more cavalier with my cavalry, charging them in every which way. Ooh, promotion to Major General. He's a little skirmish, tiny skirmisher unit being commanded, 650 men being commanded by a Lieutenant General. Ransom's wounded, but we can replace him. Captured some Springfields, Pro Guns, 20 pounder Houchers, those are good. Cooking Brothers, those are trash. Carbines are fine. Enfields are good. Harpers Ferry are good. Colts are good. Supplies are good. Lorenz are good. All right, pretty straightforward battle. All those Springfield 1861s, I'm gonna sell those. Cooking Brothers gonna sell those. Ten Panic Pros probably sell those too. Um, everything else I'll keep. All right. Well, everybody, that was a quick, fun battle. Seventy-five thousand, thirty-two hundred, and only two prom new stars, but that's good. Um, now, I mean these. Okay, Kemper, I'm pretty sure, would have gotten three stars, but he, uh, but because, uh, Ransom got wounded. Yeah. Is there, uh, no, we need, a. we have, a... yeah, let's get a second AP Hill. <laughs> AP Hill, it's funny, if you look, sir, yes, sir! see, Kemper's memories commanded by AP Hill, and Lewis's memories also by AP Hill. <laughs> Two AP Hills. Earlier I had AP Hill as a court commander, but then I got a major general to replace him, so... Yeah, okay. I want to know, for those wondering where my commander is, it's right here. So... He's, he'll still be earning experience in the first corps. So when he gets to lieutenant general, we'll put him back. Until then, Robert E. Lee's our guy. <laughs> Okay, you'll get the that buff. You'll get that buff. I'm gonna go for the economy. But yeah, like these Springfields, if I sell them all, thirty thousand dollars. I probably could sell these Harper's Ferry muskets because I just have too many muskets. They're one hundred twenty thousand uh, dollars. Especially with all the stuff I'm capturing. To like, like that. Like, that's five, like, that's a crazy amount of Sharps carbines. And I already have enough cavalry. Like, I don't, like, uh, <laughs> uh, although I did with the army organization now, I have 
fifth division slots. Let's see, fifth division. There's a fifth division here, and then there's still two and a half here. So, yeah, we're getting ready for the next big battle of Fredericksburg. Next time, we're going to be doing Corinth, and we're going to be on the attack from the outset. Uh, until then, everybody, stay tuned, stay awesome, and stay hydrated. All right? Bye-bye.